Amanda, welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you saw in the title of the video, I'm going to review Daughters of Sparta by Claire Haywood. This is a mythological historical fiction that is a retelling of the Greek story of Sparta and Helena. I believe it's a new adult, although I haven't been able to find a classification, but there are certain topics it mentions that show me that are new adult to adult. I give this book four stars and is uh, the story of Helena and Clytemnestra. Helen and Clytemnestra are sisters and we all know, well, many of us know that Helen was the reason why Sparta and Troy were at war. Um, basically Greece w was at war with Troy. I was expecting something different, but that didn't affect my rating because I believe my expectations are my problem. So if I expected something different, that means it was wrongly marketed, but it doesn't go against the book and or the author at all. It is a standalone in which the writing style felt quite YA. It was easy to read, it was quick. I read it in a couple of days, even doing all other stuff. So it felt really YA and they're especially really young. When the book starts, I think they're like nine and 10 years old, nine and 11 years old. So they're pretty young. But as I said before, the topics it mentions are uh, tricky to be YA because trigger warnings there's basically rape uh, at least sexual abuse somehow uh, there's being forced to be what others want you to be basically it shows the story from the side of the women but it also tells a story of women that are oppressed women that grow up learning that they have to do what they're told, that they have to follow orders from males and that they cannot choose for themselves and they actually cannot at that time. And I I felt anxious at point because I was expecting a story of uh, female power, of rebellion against the system, basically, and they did it somehow. I, I really liked that it, uh, the book showing the side of women shows the reality of what happened, the reality of the way they thought about themselves, about how they should behave in society, especially noble women. Uh, but it also shows the other side, like slaves and how they were seen as objects that men, noble men, could use as they wanted and nothing would come of it, not, there would be no consequences uh, from the, these actions. It's just, they had to let them do. And it's, although they're spreading and um, frustrating, it shows a reality and the reality of two different women especially who thought in diverse ways about their position and what they wanted in life and saw their life differently but at the same time it shows the struggles they had to go through in order to please and in order to be where they were supposed to. They had to be married soon, they had to have children. Many times they were married before they were even on their period. Ugh. I just felt anxious because of that. But if you don't mind these, I encourage you to read just, uh, I gave it four stars because I do believe it is important that we see this, that we see how it was, that we see how it still is in certain parts of the world for many women. For those who are not favored by, who are not in power, who are not the majority, the, who are the oppressed, I, I, I think this topic is essential and it's also important that we are aware of how far we've come and we're aware that how it was still is for many people. So, although the plot was important, and of course, 
there is focused on telling the story of uh, Sparta and Troy. I believe it was character driven. Characters were really well developed. Um, their reasons and backgrounds were explained. Their development was chef's case or lack of it. So yeah, I would say I would highly recommend you to read this book. I would like to thank Netgali and the author for allowing me early access uh, to a copy of Daughters of Sparta. And I'm very sorry it took me so long to review, but uh, last semester of university was driving me crazy. So that's it from me today. Uh, let me know if you've read this book, what you thought of it, if you saw what I saw, if you didn't, what did you see, I didn't see. The last book, if you like mythological books or historical fiction, the last book you've read on, on this genre that you really loved, recommend books uh, please because i love that and uh, don't forget to click like on the video if you liked it uh, comment especially because i love talking to you about books and don't forget to click the bell for notifications and subscribe to my channel if you like my videos and i hope you're having a wonderful month i'm sending you huge bear hugs and hope to see you soon back in my channel bye